My daughter and I have a, 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 a part of our languaging together. I'll ask her, and I do this maybe before bedtime as she's getting in bed, or I'll do this on my way out the door in the morning. I'll say, hey, baby, how much does your daddy love you? And she, she knows the answer. The answer is so much, right? And so, I, oh, you know, going to bed, hey, good night, sweetheart, give her a kiss. How much does your daddy love you? Oh, so much, right? Like, that's just a part of the language. So the other day, last week, she, she's so good. Like, she, she invited me into her world. There was this new television show that she had heard about. Her friends were excited about it. It was on Nickelodeon. She wanted me. She specifically wanted me to come into her world and to watch the show with her. And so I was like, oh, okay. It's a little sitcom. So I came down the couch. We're sitting together. She's snuggling up to me, and we're watching the show. And I want to tell you, it was very funny. It was, it was clever. It was cute. There were a lot of things about it that were dynamic and good. Uh, there was also a, a, a strain of the comedy that I found uh, disconcerting. It, it specifically was the comedy that is disrespectful toward adults and disrespectful to parents in general. And I was, I was concerned about that. So after the show was over, I turned off the TV. And I turned to her and I immediately began to process what was wrong with the television show. Uh, so I just began to say, oh, honey, you know, here's what I found, you know, hard about that show. Here's what I didn't like, et cetera. I started to process with her. I knew it wasn't going well right away when the tears flowed down her face. I, I totally missed my daughter's heart in that moment. I, I, I just missed it. Not that I should have, uh, you know, have a different view of, of what was disrespectful. Not that I should have changed my, my stance on it. It's just the way I approached it. I, I missed her heart. She had invited me into her world. She was excited to help have me discover something with her. And I, I just, I blew it. And so my wife was there. She graciously asked me to give it some space, which I did. And I, I went upstairs. I was just loading the dishwasher. And a few minutes later, my daughter comes in, she spreads out her homework, and she gets ready to do her homework. And so I look up at her, and I said, uh, hey, baby, how much does your daddy love you? And she said, so much. <laughs> and I said, yeah, come here. And I grabbed her, and I picked her up, and I set her down on the counter, and I said, how much do I love you? And she looked at me, and she said, so much. And I said, yeah. I said, I want to thank you for inviting me to watch that show with you. I mean, how awesome that a dad gets an invite. I said, thank you for that. And I want to tell you, baby, that there were some things about that show that were so creative and clever. Honestly, I mean, it, there was some, it was just some brilliant stuff. But I also said, sweetheart, because I love you, because my heart for you is good, there are some things that, that I really do want to process with you. And I want to protect you from some things in this world because I love you. I want to make sure that, that some of these things, some, some of the hard things, the disrespectful things, the, the things that hurt, that they don't come into your world and wound your heart. So do you understand that? And this time there were tears in her eyes, but not from frustration. And she wrapped me in her arms and she said, I know, Daddy, I love you too. You see, she has to know that she is the apple of my eye. That doesn't work unless she knows that she's the apple. That she's the one that I love. That she's my girl. That, it only works in that relationship. But I want to tell you, that's how God thinks about you. You are the apple of his eye. He delights in you. See, David, David, whose heart was after God's own heart, David knew this truth. Look at this verse. Psalm 17, 8 says, keep me as the what? The apple of your eye. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. What he's saying is, I know I'm the apple of your eye. That's why you've given me 
such responsibility. That's why you've revealed your word to me, your purposes for me. That's why you've given me wisdom. That's why you've given me leadership and influence. I know I'm the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And you might say, well, Mike, how do you know that? How do you know that God is love? How do you know that God has pursued me? How do you know that Jesus is the revelation of God's love poured out on the cross for me? How do you know? And the only answer I have for you is it's in his word. It's in his word. That's how we know. Greater than philosophy is revelation. Greater than culture is revelation. Greater than any man-made construct is the revealed love and word of God whose heart is good for you. Friends, God is a good father. He loves you and he has invited you into a relationship of love with him that starts today and lasts forever. So I want to encourage you. Would you receive his word? Would you receive his love? Would you ingest it into your life? God is a good father.